Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the future of a certain DC TV show supposedly coming to HBO Max. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, recently there's been some huge shakeups at Warner Brothers and also at another Warner Brothers subsidiary, that being the CW, that we all know because of the Arrowverse shows. However, today we're not going to be talking about the CW, we're going to be talking more in relation to HBO Max. Now, HBO Max has been a big thing over the last couple of years, especially in the pandemic, since most cinemas were shut down, and so most big studios actually focused on their streaming services. And so HBO Max is Warner Brothers' big streaming service, and it seems to be going pretty well. However, just earlier this year, Warner Brothers was actually bought out, I think it was originally owned by AT&T just before, and then it was bought out earlier this year by Discovery. Now, Discovery has its own streaming platform, that being Discovery Plus, and it's quite different from HBO Max. HBO Max has a huge variety of content, whether it be films, TV shows, documentaries, cartoons, anything like that. It has a huge range of content, and some of their biggest content may actually be coming to an end just based on what has been happening recently since David Zaslav, the CEO of now what is known as Warner Brothers Discovery, has actually been looking to HBO Max and he's been shaking things up basically. And so apparently, according to rumors, I think there was a report somewhere online that HBO Max is going to be letting go of a lot of its workers, basically downsizing HBO Max and making it less of a big thing. And so this is a huge deal which started actually with the official announcement that Batgirl has been scrapped by HBO Max. And this was because of David's choice, the CEO of the company, that especially for Batgirl, considering it's a film that was on a lower budget, they could take a tax cut, basically get all that money back and not have to release that film. And this was a certain choice that had a lot of backlash and obviously fans aren't fans of this however it's what he thinks right and david actually wants to focus more on creating superhero films for the cinema rather than hbo max and obviously that's a big driving force behind streaming services like hbo max disney plus having new content and batgirl would have been a new film for HBO Max that probably would have released in cinemas as well. And so scrapping Batgirl's release and other releases and changing things in order to save money doesn't bode well for the future of currently in development HBO Max shows. So I really do think this new leadership at Warner Bros. Discovery is the worst thing to happen at Warner Bros. for a very long time. And so, what show am I talking about? Well, of course you guys know from the title, we're actually talking about the Legion of Superheroes show that is currently in development and there's been an official screenplay that's been written for the pilot and there's been like over three drafts and it seems it's ready to go ahead. However, the announcement that was made by the show's potential showrunner, Brian Michael Bendis, who's been writing the show and he's a DC Comics writer, He's written Legion many times in the comics, so it makes sense that he is the one driving this show. He actually released a picture of the finished, I think, third and final draft of the pilot of HBO Max's Legion of Superheroes show. And if you guys didn't know, that show is supposed to be an animated show, and so it's obviously in a little bit of a different realm to what we're used to with the Arrowverse, but it's more in line with, say, Rick and Morty or some of the more adult themed cartoons like that. And so the last we heard, like I said, there was that picture was released by Brian Michael Bendis. It seemed everything was going all well. However, since the HBO Max news with the cancellation of Batgirl and the CW cancellations and the potential cancellations of shows like Titans and Doom Patrol, which I'll talk about in another video, that are actually released on HBO Max, this does not bode well for new shows that the new management isn't fully sold on. Now, we have no insight here as to if HBO Max and the people in charge at Warner Brothers Discovery actually like this new screenplay that they've read or potentially will start reading very soon because potentially they're going to start 
getting animators, getting voice actors in and start to get the show along the road. But for now I would say it's safe to assume that pretty much all HBO Max shows that were currently in development when these changes were going ahead, it doesn't look good for them. And so I'm going to say right now, if I'm going to make an estimate and a guess, I don't think this Legion of Superheroes show is going to come anytime soon. I think if it comes, it'll be in like two years because obviously animated shows take a long time and obviously they need to put in a lot of work. However, I also think it's probably more likely that it's not going to go ahead. And I'm just saying this just based on all the cancellations and all the projects. It's clear that no matter what the project is, if it's not good, I don't think they're going to go for it. And it's obviously in their own perception of what is good. It's not that this Legion of Superhero show is going to be bad or something, but it's just what they perceive as actually being viable and a good money-making scheme for them. Because if you guys didn't know, Warner Brothers actually hasn't been doing too well financially, especially because of some of their bigger projects that they've been working on. And also the pandemic affected their monetary gains. So the big shakeup is there for a reason. And so with shows like Legion of Superheroes and HBO Max potentially coming to an end, it does not look very good and optimistic. And so, do I actually think HBO Max is going to come to an end? Well, with all the rumours of all the staff, and potentially up to 70% of staff actually being laid off sometime in the near future, that does not look good for HBO Max. Apparently, there's also been some rumours that Discovery Plus will be merging with HBO Max, and that potentially it will be a new platform. That could be what's happening, but I don't see why they would get rid of so many staff members in order to just hire a new staff set. So I'm not sure how viable that is, but there's also always the chance that they merge HBO Max back into HBO and just continue with the service, but in a different form, not making it like the equivalent of Disney Plus, but for Warner Brothers. And that's what they've been trying to do recently, obviously since all the success with Disney Plus, with Netflix and Amazon Prime Video and stuff like that. Warner Brothers really was into this streaming game and they made some big decisions. They actually rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Filmmakers like Christopher Nolan left Warner Brothers. He had a long history with Warner Brothers and he just doesn't want to work with them anymore because of their choice to go towards streaming services. But now with this new leadership at Warner Brothers Discovery, David is completely doing a U-turn on what Warner Brothers set up in the pandemic because they were adamant that they were all in on the streaming game but now they are seemingly doing a huge u-turn and i think that really goes to show how impactful someone else being in charge of such a streaming service or such a studio actually has also i need to emphasize once again that this legion superhero show i don't know what story they're actually going to be telling but it's presumably going to be something that brian has actually worked on in the past in his comic books so if this show is actually coming out i would recommend you read some of the issues that brian michael bendis did on legion of superheroes in the comics and i have to reiterate as well that this doesn't have anything as far as we know to do with the arrowverse and the legion of superheroes that we know and love the reason I am covering this is I like Legion of Superheroes, I think they have some great characters and I'm actually really looking forward to this show so I'm actually really rooting for it to come to fruition. However, I'm not going to be too optimistic just based on what's happening, especially with all the huge Arrowverse cancellations like there's so many shows that are being cancelled left, right and centre and it just doesn't look very good for the future of DC TV right now, especially with the changes in leadership and the changes in choices about what projects are good and what are bad. And this Legion of Superheroes show, I feel like it's just right in the middle of that and it's not as high profile as some of the other HBO Max shows. So that's why I think it's definitely at risk of being on the chopping block. If they come around to actually checking on the show and if they don't love it, then I think it's gone. But we can really hope that HBO Max has faith in it and Warner Brothers has faith in it. And if it does turn out to be like the sort of DC equivalent of Rick and Morty or, or anything along those lines, it could be really, really popular. And obviously they have the basis where they've had many DC shows in the past that have been animated like Superman the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, 
more recently Young Justice has been doing really good recently fans have been really liking it and so we've got a good strong DC basis for animation and they continue to churn out DC animated films obviously it's not made by HBO Max or Warner Brothers Television but it's still DC content that's animated and there is an audience for it those films prove that and so I really hope the Legion of Superheroes show actually does get made and we get to see characters like Monel and all the other Legion of Superheroes members on the screen in animated form sometime soon. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and if it did help you out, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.